is the anc actually serious about fighting corruption or is this all for a show we'll be talking about something related to this particular issue in this video so please do all to stay glued and do watch the video till the very end well in a candid interview with jj tabane on power to truth former minister of international relations and cooperation naledi pandor did not hold back in expressing her frustration with the african national congress that is the anc as a seasoned member of the party pando is deeply disappointed in the anc's failure to take decisive action against members involved in corruption this she claims has severely damaged the party's credibility in the eyes of south africans well in today's video we're going to be diving into her statements we're also going to be looking at the broader implications of the ANC's inaction on corruption and what this means for the party's future, especially as we head towards the 2024 general election. While the ANC has a rich history as a party that led South Africa out of apartheid and into democracy, it was a symbol of hope and freedom for millions. However, over the years, corruption scandals have tainted this legacy. While well, from the Gupta's family and of course its influence over state affairs to the findings of the Zondo Commission into state capture, the ANC has been repeatedly linked to corrupt practices. While well, the step-aside rule introduced by the ANC was supposed to be a way to deal with members facing corruption allegations. This rule requires implicated individuals to step down from their positions while investigations are ongoing. But as Pando pointed out, the rule has been applied inconsistently, further undermining the party's credibility. Pando's frustrations reflect a growing divide within the ANC. While on one side, you have members who believe that the party must renew itself by dealing with corruption decisively. On the other hand, there are those who fear that enforcing such rules could fracture a party as many high-profile members are implicated. Pando acknowledged that the ANC has had multiple opportunities to address corruption, but fear of backlash within the party has led to inaction. While this hesitation has not only weakened the ANC's internal accountability, but has eroded public trust. Voters are increasingly disillusioned and the party risks losing its grip on power. While well, Pandora's statements are timely as the 2024 general elections loom closer. For many South Africans, the ANC's failure to tackle corruption has been a major sticking point. The Zondo Commission's finding only added to the pressure as the public expected decisive action, but the response has been lukewarm at best. Well, the step aside rule is something that we have to actually talk about. I mean, why the rule is meant to hold corrupt officials accountable, its inconsistent application makes it very much ineffective. So let's talk about the fear of repercussions. I mean, the ANC is reluctant to act against its members, fearing internal divisions, but this has had the unintended consequence of alienating the public. Well, let's talk about the last, which happens to be the damage on the country's institutions. Well, Panda pointed out that corruption has harmed not just the ANC, but also critical state institutions, eroding the very fabric of South Africa's democracy. Guys, what do you think about all these particular issues ongoing? Do you think the ANC's step-aside rule is effective, or does it need to be enforced more strictly? Again, how do you believe the ANC can regain the public's trust ahead of the 2024 elections? Should high-profile ANC members implicated in the Zondo Commission report face legal consequences? Well, leave your thoughts just down in the comment section. I don't know about you guys, but I strongly feel like Naledi Pandor's powerful statements about the ANC's handling of corruption provides a stark reality check for the party. Well, leave your thoughts in the comment section and please do subscribe before leaving.